The integrated strategic planning process is important for several reasons. First, the process itself brings us together as a community, as a community of faculty, students, leadership of our two hospitals, the staff of our entire Stanford Medicine enterprise. And in coming together, we've been able to reach remarkable consensus and agreement on our mission and our values. We face many external pressures and challenges in biomedicine and healthcare today. And in order for us to effectively address those challenges and be true to our mission and values, we have to have an integrated plan and then we have to be able to execute on that plan. The potential for what we can achieve in this plan is quite limitless. I mean, you look at the incredible, innovative, technologically driven, research driven organization that Stanford is, we just have incredible breadth and opportunity. And so by being able to focus, and I think one of the challenges of organization is there's always a lot of bright, shiny things that are out there that we want to work on and do. The question is, is can we as an organization pull together our collective resources and really be able to do a few things very well? I think having an integrated plan is important because we need to align all three enterprises. And I know that the trustees of the university in particular would like to see a unified plan come out from Stanford Medicine. So I think the process that we went through will lead to a more aligned strategic plan across Stanford Medicine. The diagnostic survey that we did before we started the formal planning process revealed a number of findings. First, it showed that, no surprise, we are a mission-driven organization. People at Stanford Medicine have a strong sense of why they're here and a strong commitment to the mission of our enterprise. It revealed that we had opportunities uh, to further define what our priorities are. And once we've defined those priorities, then to communicate those and involve the community in executing on the priorities. Essentialism for us is really being able to boil down to the core initiatives that really will make a difference in our organization. Essentialism for us will really be about creating that focus, creating that opportunity for us to be able to do those things which will really differentiate us moving forward. And that really is a core of who we are and what we're espousing in terms of the work that we're doing here. I see Stanford Medicine leading in precision health in the next five years in several ways. First, we have the opportunity to continue to build the strongest discovery engine in biomedicine in the world and to leverage the fundamental discoveries that are made here for the benefit of patients and to translate those discoveries right here at Stanford Medicine into people and programs at Stanford. Also, through strengthening our translational enterprise, we have the opportunity to further distinguish our healthcare delivery system to be the place where we deliver care, and, and not just care for severe acute diseases, which we certainly want to do, but also the type of predictive and preventive care that keeps us healthy for a lot longer than we have been in the past. Change is always difficult, and people love to say, um, change is great, you go first. But from our perspective, this really is going to require a change in the organization. It's going to require us in thinking different ways and working together in new ways. And success for me will really come out, are we able to bring our teams together? Are they able to see each other as colleagues? And are we able to make progress in the initiatives that we have? Uh, and I'm very encouraged because I do think, based on what I've seen in this planning process, that we have a great opportunity for success here. The team that's been working on the integrated strategic plan these past several months is outstanding in every regard. They've worked so hard to get to know this large and diverse community. They've listened through individual meetings, through town hall activities. They've provided drafts and outlines uh, to get feedback. And truly, we could not have done this planning process without this outstanding team. The vision that we created for Lucio Packard Hospital I think the biggest lesson there was to keep it simple and to have a mechanism to communicate it to the rest of the enterprise. So I'm glad to see that Stanford Medicine has adopted the same framework uh, that we, we, we used. 
First, having an integrated strategic plan does not mean that everybody's doing the same thing all the time. Quite to the contrary, an integrated plan reflects the diversity of interests and talents and activities that exist in the various different components of Stanford Medicine. What surprised me most about the integrative planning process is the level of engagement that we've had. We have a large number of individuals in our organization, and what I've loved is the amount of people that we've had at the table giving us their great ideas and showing us some of the things that really truly will differentiate us as an organization. The Lucio Packard vision was put together in 2015 for a 10-year vision, and I think that the work that has been done is quite complementary. So I think there's a good alignment between Lucio Packard Jones Hospital and the rest of Stanford Medicine. Well, I think in a very real sense, strategic planning is never completed. It's always ongoing. The advantage of this process is that we've now developed the interactions and the mechanisms for keeping the integrated planning process going uh, moving forward. So by having the working groups, by establishing agreement on a core set of values and an agreed upon mission, we're now much better positioned to have an active and robust planning process and to be able to execute effectively on the plans that we develop.